hi welcome back so this is another story time but it's about a man okay and i have ADHD, so i forget if i did talk about this probably not probably probably not um i need some uh, clarity this love oh okay <laughs> this one was screaming oh my god okay um anyways it works when i plug it like to the other side of the this little room okay welcome back i'm gonna do a story time on a man of the uh, an old of an old age let's just say like old for me is 30 and more no 35 35 and more is old for a man okay um so we met a couple years ago and the scary thing is i don't remember a lot of the like the time that we spent because and he didn't <laughs> This is not like a scary movie, like type vibe, but um, my memory sometimes kind of like match, but okay, see Um, sometimes I forget specific things. I have very, very good memory for specific things, but then for past it like experiences, um, more see come before twenty. I would say before twenty twenty. Yeah, before 2020, it's very blurry. Like, maybe even 2023. Because I don't know why. I wasn't, like, when we met, I was not, like, drunk. I wasn't smoking, nothing. I was not doing drugs. I don't even do drugs. So, je sais pas pourquoi, mais my memory is just kind of, like, fading. It could, like, it happened to me before, like, before the age of 25. Um, I forgot, like, the first 10 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no joke, Pila. And sometimes it just like ça revient tout seul. So I don't know. Anyways, so um, we met a couple years ago, and we only hooked up once, and that was like c'est vraiment vraiment random. Um, and I know, I know that we met. <laughs> My bad. I know that we met, but I don't remember like what we did i know that we had sex and that's it mais je sais pas comment ça s'est passé je sais pas comme i know that i was not drinking i was not smoking weed he did not drink he did not smoke he did not like give me anything fait que c'est genre ça pas rapport c'est juste mon mémoire ma mémoire so um we met a couple years ago once and then he's like um artist like québécois <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It keeps so funny. He's um a Québécois singer, like in a band in a group. Um, he's older, like forty something. Let's just say that we're gonna call him Patrick. So Patrick is in a band and he travels the world and whatever, like Quebec and around Quebec and also Europe and yada yada to do shows. I've never seen him live. I didn't even know what was the name of his band until like. A month ago or like three weeks ago um because i don't yeah i don't really like ask questions like that to men i'm gonna get better though but that's it you know anyways so that was the first time that we saw each other it was like he was 37 um and now he's like 41 and when we first met, I remember like he just he, the I remember the laugh. He has like a very very instinctive laugh. Comes to press the inner vein, and like, you know. Anyways, um, and the reason why I had like a little thing for him at first, for, like thirty seconds, is because he looks like he's Jewish. And it's gonna sound a little like odd, but I like Jewish men, like physically, like the nose and the hair, like curly hair, curly like black hair, but he has curly, um, it's not blonde, it's not brown, but it's kind of like Auburn, but not Auburn. C'est comme blonde, oof, 
me and the hair colors of a mashpa. But it's kind of like blonde, but like a blonde uh, framboise. That's all I can explain, like strawberry blonde. Kind of like almost a redhead. Could look like a redhead, but he's not a redhead. Bon, donc il attend qu'il nous dévoile. Moi, c'est les cheveux, c'est noir, blond, euh, brun, like, I don't know. Et en rouge. Bon, so he looked Jewish because he had the nose. He has a nose that's Jewish, but he has um, very, very, very deep, deep, deep blue eyes. Mais c'est pas un bleu comme bleu. C'est genre un bleu euh, différent. Ew, why did I, I'm like into like, ugh, it sounds like I'm into him. Okay, that was creepy. But, um, so Patrick is very, I mean, was very mysterious. I thought it was mysterious, but it's just because I never asked him questions. <laughs> but anyway, so we looked up once and then we never talked again. And then a year ago, um, we also saw each other. I feel like I told the story, but I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. But it was a snowstorm, and I was with my ex. But I lied to him, and I told him that I was staying at my place, but I was living with my ex and her mom. Anyways, that was a um, nightmare, actually. Traumatized. Um, so I was living with her for like, même pas longtemps, like, um, whatever. And... I was I had this obsession for Doc Martens and I was looking for Doc Martens but on the cheap. Okay, genre les recherches que j'ai fait là. Finalement, I found the perfect boots on Doc Martens on, on Facebook Marketplace and they were okay. Genre c'est juste savoir. Okay, they were ten dollars. Like that should have been a sign like something is not gonna go right. I'm gonna try not to move too much. So, and my acoustic, I don't know. <clears throat> so, somehow we happened to talk. And at the time I was also, before it was my ex, I was in therapy. Okay, therapy for my mental health. I wanted to myself. So, I was like in therapy um, for Christmas. Je pense, je m'en souviens pas trop, shit. Okay, I was in therapy for Christmas, which is kind of like embarrassing, but it is what it was. And he knew, like I told him, we talk about mental health a lot, especially me, with him. Um, because the musician and musicians are pussies, I'm kidding. Now musicians are sensitive, so a lot of the time, like, comme ils ont pas vraiment de jugement, like, they've seen it all, like, they went through all, and when you do music for a living, like, you kind of like, you have to be emotional and sensitive and whatever. So I would talk about my mental health with him. And we met. Yeah, so I wanted to buy some Doc Martens. It was like $10 pour vrai. J'étais trop contente. And I'm talking to him. I'm like, yo, like, guess what? I found some boots, Doc Martens, yada, yada, yada. But they're in Montreal. And where I was living was not like in Montreal. My ex was living like, um... Un petit coin bougie de genre, je sais pas comment, um, comme c'est, it's not Montreal, but it's like kind of like close to Montreal, like an island. But anyways, so I was like, yeah, I cannot get there. Obviously, I don't think there's any buses there, probably like one. So I'm texting him and I'm like, would you be able to go get the boots for me and bring it? Je sais, ok, pour vrai, je pensais pas qu'elle allait dire oui. Mais en même temps, le connaissant, I feel like knowing him, deep down, he's a nice guy. So, I knew that, like, you know, he was hoping maybe we can, like, start something again and, like, maybe hang out that day, which is my fault, my fault. But anyways, um, he was like, okay, yeah, at first he was a little reluctant. Um, I can get the boots. I paid for them, by the way, like, I did not ask him to pay for my boots. Comme je déjà payé, um, fait que, all you had to do is go, call me, and then I transfer the money to the lady. So he went, puis il y avait une tempête de neige, ok, c'était fou, it was like, I, uh, not ice, snow everywhere. And my ex did not know what was happening, I just told her that I needed to hang out with my friend. And we were even like trying to break up, like c'était vraiment genre comme So, um... 
I disappeared for like an hour. So he brought me the boots and I gave him like a random address near because I did not know. I did not want him to know where I was staying out and I did not want my ex to see him. And I didn't want him to see my ex because I did not know that I was seeing my ex. Okay, so I went to um, I went to like meet him up and I was late. Je me souviens qu'il était fâché. He thought that I was going to like I was not gonna go see him because he my play I was missing you. He was calling me, calling me, calling me, and I was with my ex. And then something was happening. I kept the shake. Oh my God! Yes, he's so far. Anyway, so I was like handling two situations at the same time. Pis t'es just comme bruh. Yes, he's pas so lazy. Anyway, so finalement, I was able to leave the apartment to go meet him. Pis j'ai dit comme yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with my friend. Yada yada yada. I was sick. I was literally sick of the, the whole situation. We were not doing great anyways. Come stay vraiment like rock and roll. I go meet him and he is pissed. He is so pissed. He's like, because I also changed the the uh, the, uh, the place that I was supposed to meet him. Because it was like 10 minutes away. And I was already late, so I gave him another address, and he was like, oh, hell no, like, I'm kidding. But he did drive there, like, nah. So we met up, and then, I'm, oh, je vous mets. Um, il y avait une tombe, nothing to do. He wanted us to, like, hang out for the day. Like, he was thinking he was going to go over to my place, not knowing I was, you know, staying with someone else. And, um, or he was like, you know what, we could go to my place, but he lived, lived again, genre, un autre 40 minutes, là, j'étais comme, non. Like, I was like, okay, let's just talk. <laughs> Pardon, ma voix est en train de... Okay, so I was like, no, we're not gonna do this. Like, c'est tout. I don't like too many, like, things at the same time, genre. If you, <laughs> if you tell me... Um, if you ask me to do something, si ça prend trop de choses avant de d'y arriver, like too many things for me, I'm like never mind. But we're in a uh, in a car and he was mad at me. He gave me the boots; they were too big. Ils étaient trop grands. Malheureusement, j'ai payé pour rien. Je fais ça pour rien. But I did not tell him that. <laughs> Je n'ai pas dit ça comme dans l'auto, but I was like. When I saw them, saw the boots, I was like, okay, my feet are not that big. We're in the car and we're kind of arguing because he was like, we, this like whole time we weren't going to hang out. Da, 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 I just wanted the boots. And he thought that I was like using him for the boots. No, no, no. He said, okay, pour vrai, like he had a, he had a point, but um, I just, when I want something, sometimes I forget, like, okay, like, you know, like, the, the, what comes with it. It's like, je l'ai, je l'ai dit, but I wanted the boots, puis j'étais comme, okay, he's, like, kind of close to there. Logical. I was thinking logical. I wasn't thinking in, like, the sense of, like, my emotions or anything like that. So, I get, like, he was upset. So, j'étais comme, okay, I understand. Like, you're right. But, he was like, oh, puis, um, après ça. He was expecting us to do shit, which, because <laughs> obviously when we met, you know, I was just a different person. So, it was, he was he was expecting to kiss and stuff, and I was like, hell no. I mean, I just said that I needed to go. <laughs> I needed to go, and he was like, where? Come, you have been expecting to kiss. Come, where are you going? Puis j'ai comme, I have to go back. Puis euh, finalement, he dropped me off. And yeah. And then that's literally... Oh wait, I did see him again after that. That's embarrassing. Okay. Um. So I did hang out with him. Like, oh my gosh, ew. Okay, so after that, I went back to my ex. We... Whatever. I was staying at her mother's place with her. And then... I went back to, I think it was like therapy after, yeah, I was in therapy after actually, after going to live with my ex. So I went to therapy after that because I was suicidal. 
So I was like staying um, at this like inpatient place where they're helping you like, je sais pas qui. But all I did was eat, sleep. And then um, it's kind of like here, and I'm like, but um, I had like people, like every day I had meetings, like sessions with someone. It would be kind of different or the same person and they would help me with my mental health, but it didn't really help. It just made me feel like, when I get used to someone, it's hard for me to open up someone else. So every, I had meetings with someone every day and sometimes with a different person. Puis j'étais comme, allô, genre, j'ai pas vraiment raconté ma vie à une autre personne. Puis genre, c'était juste trop for me. But I'm glad that I did stay there because ça m'a donné un peu de, okay, who cares? Bon, next. So after when I was there, I did tell him that I was staying there. It was like therapy. So he knows I don't care because it's like, okay, his opinion doesn't really matter to me. Um, and then after that, during the time that I was there, I also had a curfew from him. And I'm so used to having curfew at this point. <laughs> um, but we did meet up and we were supposed to hook up again. But when we met up in his car and stuff, um, he like i said he's a musician so he worked all the time he works all the time where he's always like making music practicing yada yada da, 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 da. so he has like late nights and that and then when we met up i remember i was so fucking rude because his uh breath was like stinking i'm sick of hearing when someone stays up all night and they're like you know See, normal. It wasn't like he like he doesn't sting like that usually. I just wanna say it. it's just because I was just being a bitch. Like I was just um I was going through a lot with my ex and also being in therapy. Da da. Just having those sessions was annoying. And also they did not have Wi-Fi. Okay, because he said it's like for the bien-être of the bullshit. But I was like literally fighting for my life. Um, I had an iPad that what like they like they give you iPad for like Wi-Fi, but a lot of the websites were like not even allowed on my iPad. Fixed it, y'all. Bon, qu'est-ce que je fais? Like the series that I wanted to listen to, I couldn't even listen to parce que they said that they come, you know, like those cheap ass like free website. Anyways, but I had Netflix. I would listen to Netflix. May I say, vraiment genre, damn. So we met up, and then we're supposed to make out, but we didn't like do anything. I was upset. He was upset, and after that, he was upset with me because he was like, "You're literally always asking to like meet up, and nothing happened, and then you change your mind, then you want, then you don't want." Blah blah blah. Anyways, so then after that, I didn't see him for like a year, and then I saw him again. It was um like three weeks ago no it was a month ago and he just came back from god knows where okay like another place in quebec from like music tour and um it was super late i remember i was supposed i don't remember what i was supposed to be doing but i was like out I wanted to do something and go out, whatever. But I'm like, wait, <laughs> who am I gonna go out with? Yada yada. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know. I think I was hanging out with this older. I don't know. I was like friends with this older lady. Um, <laughs> I called her my grandma, but she's not my grandma. Okay. Um, she looks Asian, so people think it's my grandma or something. I don't know. I'm not even Asian, so maybe my eyes, but I'm not Asian. Um, so I was hanging out with her during that day, during the day, but then I was supposed to go on a date, actually. I just don't remember who it was. It did not happen. I was upset. But I'm poor. Okay, whatever. So then he texted me. So we decided to hang out, and I was like, let's go stargazing, <laughs> like as a joke, like obviously. I like to stargaze, but that's not his vibe. Um, so he picks me up, and then we go, at first we go to Old Port, and he wants to walk. Okay, but the awkward thing is that um, usually when I date guys, um, my voice is annoying right now, because you should fat okay? Like, I want to sleep, that's all I want to do, but I... Okay. 
duty calls but um so usually when i date guys they open doors the car door but we're not dating like patrick is in me is not like a date we're not dating it's not a relationship so i um he actually went to like open the door for me because she just like catchy like and then he was like he was going to open the door yo for real she come fuck I didn't even realize like it maybe for him it was like a date. I don't think it was a date, but I don't know why he had the intuition of opening the door. Because I don't see him like as that, you know. Anyways, we went for a walk. I just wanted to like make out like let's just keep it simple, but he was like, Oh, let's go for a walk at least. Let's go walk like near the water. Let's go. I'm like, he takes my hand and we're like walking hand in hand but like he looks fucking old <laughs> i look so young and he looks fucking old so it looks like a sugar daddy like anyways so we're also like not that like on est pas tant séparé en âge c'est comme 10 11 12 like 13 oh 13 ew that's a lot okay so we're like walking hand in hand and he's like acting as if he's my boyfriend. I'm like, I don't like that. I'm like, okay. But it was cute. It was cute. Like, not gonna lie, I like the hand holding because like you know it's cute. We're walking on uh, Old Port. It was like 2 a.m. Okay. Um, so we're walking on Old Port. There's not a lot of people. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to the boat, and he's just like uh, he seems obsessed. But I think he's just it's just because he wants to you know fuck. but we're walking on like near the water there's like the boats and stuff and he's like naming all the boats and i'm like wait a minute because <laughs> i never ask him any questions really about because i know he's a musician i know like where his parents live yada yada but i don't really know what his parents do for a living come how the fuck does he know all the names of the boats is he just saying any fucking name? Because even when I was a little kid, he was a bateau, a little bateau, I don't know. And he was like, this is the uh, uh, 200. I was like, um, wait a minute, this nigga rich? Like, I was like, no, I was just like, I never asked any questions. And then I was like, I realized that I'm shit. Okay, okay. Well, uh, ratchet little girl, like, I was just like, well. Anyways, so we're talking and I'm like, how come you know the names of the boats? He's like, oh, I don't know. Like, I just do. Whatever. So we're just like, we're cuddling. He tries to kiss in public, but mm -mm -mm. I'm like, no, no, no. Let's chill. And there's like a bunch of, like a group of guys that started walking towards us. Because he wanted to kiss me to just be like, this is, you know, like, mark his territory. And I was like, no. Like, I don't know. It's just, no. She's just like um, a virgin to marry. Like, in public, I just don't act like that. But anyways, so we're hugging and he wants to hug. Like, he's literally hugging me, hugging me. He, um, I do like physical affection. Even though I act like I don't, I do. So we're walking and he tried to touch my butt. I'm like, um, she did that. She come no, not in public. Um, she see back why I just don't, I don't fuck with that. Like, just unless we're like actually a couple. But I'm a free agent. So we're walking, and then he wants to sit on the picnic table. I was gonna say the bench, but the picnic table. Once you just come. I literally just wanted to say I was any government fuck boy issue if I crush, but I just wanted to make out like I wasn't there to like you know, but he wanted to just like um talk um more. And I know that if we talk he's gonna ask me about mental health because I used to talk about mental health, but I'm over it. He was like um he was sitting on the picnic table and i was like debout and he was like hugging like that um and he's like how's your mental health puis genre ça ça me gênait de parler ça comme un peu comme avec des gens autour parce que comme c'est quelque chose que i want like we discuss it like me and him mais c'est pas que, comme si j'allais genre broadcast you know broadcast 
So I'm keeping it short. Whatever we're hugging is like, oh, like, <laughs> okay. Um, and he's the type to like on purpose embarrass me, just say the most unhinged things. That's he's sick for moi, she come. It depends, like the vibe. But anyways, so we go to his car finally, and then we start driving to my favorite spot, which is like 30 minutes away or like 20 minutes away. And you can park your car almost directly in front of the water. It's not an old port. And then that's when we started like making out. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, this is what I wanted to say. So before we got there, um, I was like, because I was thinking about the boats. I was like, how does he know all the names of the boat? Usually it's because like you're kind of used to like, you know, the yacht. Okay, the yacht, puis tout ça, genre, je sais pas. So I'm kind of like, wait, what do your parents do for a living? Parce que jamais demandé. And I was just expecting him to kind of like be like, oh, like, I don't know, teacher. I mean, her, the, he told me his mom is a piano teacher, which I feel like that's like a fancy ass like teaching job. But anyways, and then he was like, my dad owns uh, grocery stores. What? <laughs> like, um, huh? like they literally, like I was trying to like not act like ratchet, but I'm like, huh? And he's like, yeah, like, <laughs> but anyways, because he told me that he was like broke, which is a lie. He was not broke, but anyways, um. And he said that his dad, um, just about to hold him, he's like an owner of grocery stores and um, the company de tobacco, the cigarette. I was like, be so fucking for real, like manufacture the like tobacco. That shit is fucking expensive. Then I just said, oh, it's like I realized because a lot of some musicians like when they want to do music and their parents are not like super very content. They kind of have to go on their own. So he explained to me that he actually, his parents kind of like, they did not disown him, but they didn't help him like with his like money wise because he, did, he wanted to make music instead of like working for his dad or like being like in, like in business and stuff like that. Um, so he had to start from the bottom and like be kind of like start being broke, you know, like poor. That, that's not really poor because like his parents have money, but it's like, um, and it's like I realized, I was like, what the fuck, you know, I'll never in my life. And he acts like he's broke, like he has the same car for like five plus years, the same type of outfits, but he wears like those, the polo que je mets, this is the vêtements bon, but he wears like polo like this for like polo, you know. But like, c'est pas quelqu'un qui va avoir comme un fucking Lamborghini, like he's not the type to have that, but... So I, I never even knew. Whatever. So we go to the uh, location. I'm almost done. Uh, location. And um, I was wearing like a pajama. Like, I actually, it wasn't mine, but it was like a t shirt and um, skims, like pants. He, um, we were kissing and stuff. Like, he, it was like surprising because we have the, the vibe that we always fight. We're the type that to always fight. Like we always argue because he's annoying. I understand why like he's like a brat, a little. Like, okay, that makes sense now. Because it's like, I don't know. But he's annoying and I feel like he finds me probably annoying. But it kind of works like whatever so um usually we fight or argue over the phone or text but like physical c'est genre ça marche c'est juste que autre ça marche pas okay I'm telling you. but yeah so we're making out and stuff and i um i was like awake it was like almost Two, three, no, it was like almost like 4 p.m., uh, 4 a.m. So 
whatever, but we were there for like an hour. So it was like maybe like 3 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, just me here, blah, blah, blah. like obviously, Ben, I don't you go by. I'm kidding, kidding. No, <laughs> it was like in a car. But we're just making out. I don't know, for some reason, genre, je trouve ça. I like when it's like exciting. J'aime ça quand c'est excitant, genre. But I prefer, I'm the type to like flirt a lot. Puis genre, vraiment, j'aime tant embrasser, ta ta ta. Puis après ça, quand c'est the real shit, I'm like, bye. Parce que, je sais pas. Okay, I think it's fun, like the build up, the, the tension. That's more fun than like the actual, like. Okay, I'm just watching on six. Oh my god. No. But anyways, for me it's like more fun and also um it was like limited, you know? Like and the part that I don't like and what I don't like if the business is true <laughs> if you have two moms in the hood. Okay. But uh, what I don't like is like when someone tells me to do something. I feel like that's what I already said this before, but Je sais pas pourquoi. Ok, c'est quelque chose que je travaille dessus. But if someone tells me to do something, like especially it's a man, I'm like, um, crickets. Comme j'écoute pas mes parents, je pense vraiment. Ok, anyways, it's not be annoying, but c'est ça. So we're making out, and let's just say that I was fuck. I feel like I talked about this before, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna see after if I did. But anyways, so. Um, he knows that I'm always like, and then he's second. Comme pour vrai, maybe it's gonna sound conceited, mais genre, the woman has to go first. I'm so sorry, like, it just makes more sense. Mais, um, that time he was like, oh, like, he didn't even care about himself. Pour, like, pour, for real. He, um, when the, uh, it's because I'm mentally just like disconnected right now. Like I'm over it. Miss it up. Like it was fun. But the thing is like we almost argue. Always, always argue about the same thing over and over and over and over again. So that's why like we did try. I feel like we did try for like 30 seconds to date. Mais ça marche pas. Comme he just doesn't get. It doesn't. I don't know. I'm talking about saying that. I'm talking about saying but um he wants me to be more like compassionate towards him like more giving and i don't want that Be giving to come compromise and stuff like that because um, for me it's like it can happen but it's like it has to be a committed relationship just a book and be shows things that you know, like we're not even in a serious relationship. You're you're probably seeing someone else, and you want me to act as a girlfriend. Come, what? But Oscar, maybe it's my ego too. See, so I'm I'm working on it. But anyways, and we always argue because sometimes I say things um come without thinking before. If it's separate to bless and he's the same way. Like, he's just gonna tell you straight up. He's like, oh, whoa. Um, <laughs> but, anyways, so that's that. And it was hot. Pour vrai, j'ai quand même qu'il y a make out session on 10. Um, puis, grand, c'est comme ça aide, ça aide pas. Non, ça, like, it helps. And curly hair, that's my type. But he's not Jewish, unfortunately. <laughs> I like black men, Greek, Jewish. Um, like Caribbean to normal, I think. White guys come, see, sir, so I feel like white guys are just like more for like long term relationship, that's why for me it works. But usually it's like, but yeah, he's not Jewish, and I've asked him so many times, like, if he was, but he's not. I feel like his mom, she said, but quite a bit, and she said, I'm not going to do it, but I'm not. Anyways, so yeah, we made out and then um, I had to leave. It was like almost 4 a.m. Um, I'm going to get I forgot something. Oh, okay, yeah. So when he did tell me about his dad, his dad that was like owns like grocery store and like tobacco, like businesses, like manufacture, like cigarettes and stuff. Um, he was like, oh, he also does money. 
<laughs> okay, you also does money lending. You know, like I'm like what? Like I kind of said out loud, and I was like, money laundering. Come, obviously, money laundering is illegal. So I'm kidding. Make him. When I said that, he went quiet. Like he kind of went like. He literally did not say anything for like two seconds. Je sais pas pourquoi. Genre, I was joking, obviously. I was like, money laundering? Like, kidding. She spoke with you. She was like, I was tired. Like, obviously, I was gonna talk shit. Like, is this a joke? He kind of said money laundering. He went quiet. Like, because usually he talks, he talks, he talks, he talks. Nah, 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 he stopped talking and he was like, and I was like, I'm joking. He's like, lol. He did not laugh at all. He, that just gave me like, wait. <laughs> and I think a lot of like old money people, like they probably do a lot of illegal shit. So it's just went back to him, so please. But that's it for today. I um, yeah. Family channel. channel. I'm gonna go sleep. Okay. Peut-être je sors, peut-être pas, yeah. No. I rebuke. <laughs>